morning, good morning to each and every one of you on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Christmas Eve morning. Um, for some of you, it's probably afternoon. Yep, I have my braids or my braid twist, however you want to call it. I have them down on this morning, trying to look a tad bit different for you guys. No earrings, but that's okay. That's quite all right. Um, just coming here just to share a couple of words of encouragement. Hopefully that these words of encouragement that I am sharing will be um, enlightening to someone um, as um, they are um, enlightening to me and what I choose um, to live my life by. I've been known to be somewhat of a friendly person, been known um, to be called a peacemaker, um, been known to be called very nice and friendly, and all those things. And that's my desire. That is my desire um, to be that person as that's the life that I want to live. That's the life that I want to live. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to Carol's Daily Sauce. Um, this sauce um, introduction will probably be watching what we say, watching the things that we allow to flow out of our mouth. What do I mean? Well, for instance, just because you or I may say something and think that what it is that we're saying is supposed to come out this way or should be perceived this way doesn't necessarily mean um, that others will perceive it. Now, I have been one to say, and this is probably a little bit blunt, but it's very, very, very true. I've been one to say that um, I can't be responsible for how someone receive something that I say. Yes, we can. We can be responsible for how someone receives the things that we say. In those times when we're saying things that we know we have no business saying, like if you intentionally say something to hurt someone, you can be responsible. You can just not say it. But there are instances when we say things, for instance, I said something and it was my truth. However, the person who heard it took it to be something more than what I was actually saying and then took it as an opportunity to go on a tangent, to go on a rant and continue to keep saying it. Um, I can't apologize for my truth. I can't apologize for how I feel. I'm not one of those type of persons that's going to say, well, I'm sorry, but I feel. Or I'm sorry because I feel this way. Because our feelings are real. And if we feel a certain way by or about something, are we supposed to change it? Because another person might perceive it to be something else other than what we even meant it to be? You cannot be responsible for the way that people perceive the things that come out of your mouth. If those things are not done intentionally to hurt someone. As I said before, I've been known even by my pastor to be an encourager, to be a peacemaker. I've been known by uh, people to say, oh, Carol, you're so nice. You're so this, you're so that. And I'm grateful. I live my life in an effort to be kind to people because that's the life that I choose to live. That's the life that I believe that God wants me to live is to be kind and loving and helpful to people, not to be hurtful. So if that, in fact, is the way that I choose to live my life, why would I say or do things that would intentionally hurt someone? So, once again, we cannot be responsible for the way that people perceive the things that come out of our mouth unless we are intentionally saying those things to hurt. Be a blessing to someone and not a burden. Be a blessing to someone and not a bully. Be a blessing to someone and not a bugaboo. So, I just wanted to come on here and share that. Um, I have said... Uh, this whole time um, in my 
new journey with YouTube, I will not be having really, really, really long videos only because I know I personally don't want to drag things on and on and on. And when people's videos are really, 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 really long, um, it kind of loses my interest. The only time that it doesn't lose my interest is if it's um, a, fa a family which basically it's more than one person that's talking. But when you're just looking at one person, um, it, it, it sometimes cannot be as interesting unless their content is re really interesting. My intent is that my content is interesting because every time I come on here, every single time I come on here to be Jovo Carol, I come over on here to be the type of person that is going to bring an encouraging word to you, an uplifting word to you, something that's going to... Um, encourage you for the day, something that's going to stay on your mind and give you something to think about. So with that being said, we can be responsible um, for the things that we say to people. We, we can be responsible for the things that we say to people and the content um, because it's our delivery. Now, there are some instances where people will perceive things that you said or take things that you said to be the wrong way. And if, in fact, you did not intend for them to be um, taken like that, then you have to go on. But just be careful. Be careful about the things you say. Be careful about your delivery um, to people. Don't walk on eggshells, obviously, because I am not. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not walking on eggshells for nobody. I'm not walking on eggshells for my husband. I'm not walking on eggshells for my sister. I'm not walking on eggshells for my brother, my mother, or anybody. Because you know what? We all live in this world. We all deserve to be happy. And nobody, nobody has the authority to have you walking on eggshells and thinking that you're you're this just horrible person because the way that they perceive something that you said. Y'all, I got it bad with that finger, don't I? I got it horribly bad with sticking that finger up. But I just wanted to just come on here this morning and just to say, be encouraged. You know, you only can do what it is that you can do. Um, sometimes people will say and do things intentionally to hurt and shame on you. Shame on me um, when I do them. But don't just perceive that people are doing things and saying things um, to hurt you. Because it's, it, the world, we don't live in that kind of world. I mean, there are some people who are saying things and doing things to hurt others. But for the most part, people aren't. Um, for the most part, it is my hope and my prayer that we're living in a world that uh, living in a world where people are kind to one another, where people are wanting to do goodwill toward um, one another, especially during this time. There are so many people um, who have lost family members and loved ones. And some people are, like I said on the er earlier video, some people are thousands of miles away from home and they're lonely as a result of that. Some people have had recent um, deaths in their family where this is their first holiday season where they haven't been able to... to um, get over that um, hump of, of, of spending time, you know, with their family. Had to change my hand because that arm got tired. Um, spending time with their family and things of that nature. So just be kind and loving to people. I mean, it, it doesn't take anything to give somebody a smile. Oh my God, it just takes a few muscles in your face just to say, hi, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a great day. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Um, have a blessed day. Have a happy day. Um, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to do that. So many times we walk around with frowns on our face, intentions of being ugly and weird towards people and just being hateful for no reason. What You know what? What do you get out of being hateful to people? What? I, I need for somebody to please, please, please send me a message and let me know what do you get out of being hateful to people? What? What do you get out of be, out of screaming and hollering at people? What do you get out of calling people out of their name? What do you get out of having road rage on the street? What do you get out of uh, gossiping? What do you get out of uh, saying he say, she say, um, and, and, and just bullying people? What do you get out of that? What do you gain from that? Absolutely nothing. 
But all it tells us is that when you are that person and when you operate in that type of lifestyle, you're not even happy with your own self. There was one person who just was always negative, always saying mean things, always being, um, uh, uh, um, could this braid won't fall. Oh, well, well, shoot, I should just let it fall. Always being, um, mean, always, um, saying things that just produced an argument, just things where, um, you knew when you said it that you were going to get some, some, um, um, some feedback. I just said, you know what? You are not happy with yourself. And until you find happy with happiness within yourself, you're going to continue to be that crazy, confused, and conflicted person. Because that's what it is. Mean people, people that walk around doing and saying things to intentionally hurt others, or even listening to conversations, phone conversations, um, um, bullying on Facebook, all that kind of stuff, it's unnecessary. Bullying on Instagram, it's unnecessary. We are grown people. Grown people who need to use our grown minds, who need to be kind, who need to be loving, and who need to be understanding. It takes nothing to be kind. So, with that being said, think about the things that you say out of your mouth. Think about how a person may perceive them. And as I said earlier, we can't be responsible for everything or every way that a person perceives something that we said. However, we know without a shadow of a doubt if we're doing something with vindictive purposes. So, you have just heard from Carol's Daily Sauce. God bless each and every one of you. I hope that your day is wonderful. Here in Northern California, it is rainy. Oh, gosh. It's rainy. It's cold. Um, I have to get up and go do some cooking and stuff for my family um, for Christmas. And I'll probably be doing some filming. Just depends on how people roll out of the bed, if you know what I'm saying. But just be encouraged and don't let the things that people say and do to you dictate your life for you. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. You continue to operate and be who you are. Um, and just know that I'm continually praying for my followers. I don't have a lot, but I will. That I will. I will get more followers. I know I will. But just be concerned um, in saying good things, good and loving things, and things that don't intentionally hurt others. Speak kind words out of your mouth to people. Be blessed, be encouraged, and be strengthened, be enriched, and know that Jesus is Lord. He loves you. I love you. Thank you so much. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as I have daily tidbits coming in every day to you here on YouTube. Um, share, like, comment, subscribe, and share um, as it is my desire to bring you a good word every time I come on here. My hope is to never come on here in tears, to never come on here unhappy, but every time that I say something to you, that you are learning something. I will talk to you all later, maybe a little later on today, as I'm trying to do something every single day um, just to bring um, brightness to the world, just to bring brightness to the world and brightness to your soul. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.